In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving binomial probability distribution with Casio FS. Now, our ES class with calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, you'll be able to solve problems involving binomial probability distribution with the Casio calculator. So, you should stay with me till the very end of this video because we're going to learn a lot, guys. So, having known that, before we bring the Casio calculator, I'm going to the details of this video. Let's look at the question I have here. We're going to solve together. And see what and what they're asked to find. So the question says, a family wants to have six children, assuming that the probability of a child being a gear is 0.5. Find the probability that the family has i exactly three gears, i i exactly four gears, i i i exactly at, at least four gears, and i b at most four gears. Okay, guys, very very simple questions with a cash calculator. So right now, let's, let's get a cash calculator and go into the details of this video. Okay, this is the class risk calculator Casio FS. We have an ES class risk calculator. Now, guys, the very first thing you have to do is to create a calculator. The essence of doing it is to put your calculator in default mode. Remove whatever previous value you might have stored on the calculator or whatever previous mode you might have placed the calculator on. So, guys, to clear for those of you that don't know how to do this, prepare shift button 9 for the instruction. Why initialize all? Press 3. Press report 2. Of course, it is right now we are clear it. The calculator is now in default mode, now we set. Now, the next thing you have to do now is to put your calculator in a mode and then put solve this kind of problem. So, we get to menu, press menu, and choose the mode which is distribution. So, distribution mode is option 7, press 7. So, it's now it's now bringing this very place. Now, it will show you various options here. Since we want to solve binomial probability. So if you look at here very well, you see binomial PD. Hey, when you press it downward, but you you see binomial CD now. Binomial CD is for solving problems involving at least and at most, particularly whereas binomial PD is for solving problems involve that that don't involve at least and at most, like in the case of this I based on an II, exactly three gears and exactly four gears. So having known that, let's go ahead and, and solve for I and II. Press that is a good question for binomial word B D. Press four. Now when you press four to bring it to this very place, you have to select that list of variable. I will explain or show you how you can use the boots. But let me begin with variable. Let's press two. Okay guys, when you get here, this place is very very important. Now the x value is the number of their success, whereas the n value is the number of trial, the equation, or number of trials in the equation. Now, the p value is the probability of success in the equation. Like in this question, we have our number of their success to be 3, 4, 3, and 4, whereas the number of trials will have it to be six. The family wants to have six children. Whereas the probability of success will have it to be 0 0.5. Okay, guys, so having done this, let's go ahead and put the respective values here. Remember, we want to solve question i and the x value, which is when the family is desiring three girls. Okay, that's put three here. Press record two. We have the number of trials is six. Okay, first of all, the probability of success is 0.5. Now, guys, this is very, very important. You being able to decode these respective values in a given question, you have the x, n, and p values respectively. We go a long way to help you have the right result, the right answer. But then you put them on a the calculator because when you misplace any, you will end up having the wrong value and an answer. So it's important and critical that you identify them the right way you know how to decode them properly so having known that let's go ahead and press record to and get the exact number of three girls that the probability that the family has exactly three girls press record to press record to again so we have it to be 0 0.3125 now what what the, the probability of the family uh, we have exactly four gears would be just let's go back just put this and put four here press record two so we have it to be zero point two three four three seven five 
Okay, guys, it's as simple as that. Now, let me show you the least aspect of feed before I go to at least where we use probability, where we use the binomial CD, not PD. Now, for the least aspect of feed, we have to go go ahead and tie it from here. Just press this menu. Now, once we press menu, press okay, let's okay, press one or if you press seven, at least press seven. Okay, press seven, then press four again. It's my one select list. Okay, so now this list, what it does is to show you if you don't want to do it one by one, if, if you want to do it at once. So this, we are the list, help you to do it. If you don't want to do it separately, once you see the, for instance, this question, we asked to find exactly three gears, the probability of the family having exactly three gears and exactly four gears. So if you don't want to do it individually or separately, if you want to do it once, that's where the list comes in, which is the easier one, guys. So let's go, go here and put three, that is exactly three gears, we have put four, and even the question is also having exactly five gears, you still put five in that order, but since it didn't, it does not have five, just three and four, we stop at three and four, then press equal to, now, it, it will also ask you to impute the value of an n, the value, our value of n here is still six, that is six, that remember n is the number of trials, and our probability of success is 0 0.5, so it's as soon as that guys press record to so you can see we show you the probability that the family will have exactly three girls and when the when the family have exactly four girls. So you can as you can see it here, these are the two values we got so when we solve them separately. So that's for this aspect of it. Let's go ahead and solve for at least and as most, which we are going to use what probability seeds are not PD. So let's go away from this entirely. So you can choose to press one or you can choose to clear but if you press one or okay, let, let's clear to be on the safe side and it's as simple as that okay we are clear so let's go back to distribution p7 let's say my one we go for binomial cd and not pd press one okay now this is my one we go for variable choose two so now, you say at least four girls. Now, guys, remember, this is my one. Our x could have been four by right. It should have been four. Yes, it should have been four. But when it talks about at least, guys, that is very important. I want you to listen carefully. Now, remember you are dealing with at least in probability. We have to find at least the equation of at least. Now, for the x value, which is usually an integer, a positive integer. Very important guys for the x value don't put the exact value like here they say at least four gears by why would i put four yeah but if you put four and put the other respective value you are required to put and by the time you solve it with the calculator you get the one value so the the right value to put here is to decrease the number you have by one so instead of putting four you have to put what three that's something like that guys so don't go and put the exact value for Questions involving at least it puts it decrease it by what by one. So we press equal to then puts the end, the end is to be six and the probability of success press equal to is to still give you 0.5. Okay, then press equal to to get this result. So we have 0 0.65625. Now, once you have this result, you have to subtract this result by from one to get a final answer. So all you have to do guys very simple. Remove this, go to menu, press one, and do subtract the value one minus answer. That is the answer the, the calculator stored. Press equal to so change this to this my press SD. So these are final result guys. It's as simple as that. So this is it for value involving at least so now let's go ahead and find at most very simple guys let's go back to distribution that seven remember i still work with pd press one okay now some my one variable okay so now for the for at most you don't have to decrease the the value there by one or increase by one just impute the 
exact value here here at most four years so we make use of the four press record to then the number of trials still be six of course and lastly the probability of soft sex is 0 0.5 all right press record to okay so this is the probability that the family will have at most four girls so guys these are the tricks or the hack or the technique of solving binomial probability distribution in the classic calculator i hope you learned something interesting if you are new to our channel and you are you not yet subscribed share your subscribe button not to subscribe to our channel for more of our videos also like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel regarding what you have learned from this video if you seem to have any specific question to ask feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and i will sure to give you a response that is for this class guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to click calculator once you are done press shift button 9 for the instruction 3 to initialize or press record and press record to so the calculator is not cleared we are good to go guys thanks for watching see you in my next video